As we prepare for the spring game to come up here, a fun topic popped up on the social medias. It happened back in February, actually, but it's something that's been kind of reappearing over the last week. I thought it would be a fun topic. The Sports Illustrated Top 10 College Football Teams of All Time dropped. And you might be a little shocked where Oklahoma landed, but at the same time, you might not be. So we're going to talk about that list, the criteria that SI provided, and why I could see where Oklahoma landed at that spot. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up to the channel. All right, let's look at SI's 10 best teams of all time in college football. And when I saw the list, I was like, yeah, I got questions. But then when I dove into it, I'm like, okay, I can see why. So let's look at it. So here's a list. Shout out to whoever made this graphic. I just saw it and online and snatched it. There's no name or anything, but you know, shout out to them. They did a great job, but you've got Alabama, SC, Oklahoma, Ohio state, Notre Dame, Michigan, Texas, Georgia, Nebraska, and interesting enough, LSU rounds it out. Now you're asking, okay, I, most people have asked the question, how in the heck did LSU get in there over like a Florida state, right? Is it, how did that happen? Cause you know, Florida state had that long run from, was that 70s, 80s, all the way up? I mean, they won some titles in the 21st century. So you wonder why they didn't end up in there. But this was kind of the list that they compiled. So here, here's a screenshot from the article. And the link of the article is in the description below if you want to read through it. Because it walks through each school as well and explains why they ended up there. But this is the, the, the criteria. We've got winning percentage. We've got national championships, conference championships, bowl games, total wins, bowl record, All-Americans, Heisman Trophy winners, NFL draft picks, first round draft picks, weeks at number one in the AP poll, as well as the total AP top 25 appearances. So when you look at that, it's like, okay, when you go through those numbers, it makes sense. And let me explain why LSU is at number 10, and then I'm going to talk about why Oklahoma ended up at third. First off, LSU's numbers kind of make sense, right? This is kind of from the article itself. LSU's ranked 14th all time in winning percentage at 65.4. They're sixth nationally with three Heisman Trophy winners, eighth with 375 total NFL draft selection, and ninth in first round NFL draft picks all time. They send a lot of dudes to the league. And it makes sense. And then, of course, if you look at LSU's run here in the 21st century, I mean, they won three national championships with two coaches, three national championships with three different coaches. Two of them, we question if they're even good coaches, right? Of course, Nick Saban won the first one in 03, and then you had Les Miles, and then you had Ed Ogeron, go Tigers. And you ask the question, is Les Miles and Ed Ogeron actually good head coaches? Or did they just end up at LSU and just made it happen? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. LSU's always a problem for everybody, and I kind of see why they're there. Now, I would probably have to try to find a way to get Florida State into this when I went through the list, because I think the only one that I truly questioned outside of LSU was probably Georgia, right? It, You know, Georgia's got the last two national championships. Congrats to them. They have come back. First one in, what, 50 years when they got this one. So it's kind of weird seeing that they would be on there, but... They're ranked ninth all time in wins at 881 and top 15 among schools with a 66.6% total winning percentage and 10th with 371 NFL draft selections. I still have questions as to where, how they're up there as well with LSU. Now, Nebraska, you know, Nebraska has done nothing in the 21st century, but they were, you know, their second all time with 46, you know, conference championships. They were a monster. Like, Nebraska was a juggernaut up into 20, what, 2020, 2003. It's probably when they really started to just fall off after that year. But Nebraska was a beast. Basically, as Nebraska went to the Big Ten, that's when things just fell apart for them. But I digress on that. Oklahoma ended up third on this list, right? Makes sense. Like, so when ESPN did theirs, it was probably maybe 10 years ago they did that big article on the greatest programs of all time. And on their list, Oklahoma was number one. Now I would definitely see that you would give it to Alabama's number one because of the run that Nick Saban had six championships doing what Bear Bryant did in less years. Yeah. You got to give Alabama greatest of all time just because of the, the 21st century run on top of what Bear Bryant did. It's absurd. There's only two dudes have ever done it right there. Those two dudes, right? But Oklahoma, of course, tops and Heisman's, 
up there in the top, you know, they got seven, 50 conference championships, which is easy. Third most weeks in the AP poll. Fourth most draft selections at 414 and fifth in winning percentage and sixth in all-time wins and All-Americans. Definitely deserve to be up there in that number. I mean, competing with them at number two with USC, them coming through at, you know, up there in the tops in the AP rankings, sixth all-time in rankings, but they got a lot of draft picks, right? Second among all schools with over 500 NFL draft picks, which deservingly so, it makes sense. And they rank eighth nationally with their winning percentage, and then, of course, they're third with their 11 claimed natties. You got questions around that. You know, everybody, Oklahoma probably would have like 19 if they would have claimed all of their titles, but they don't. We only claim AP, hence why we've only got the seven. So we, we focused on that. And Bama, of course, is your number one team. And when I looked through that, I was like, okay. That was where I was trying to ask questions. Between them and USC, I think the draft picks is probably what pushed USC above. But conference championship-wise, I don't see how Oklahoma didn't jump to number two. Now, I'm not – I don't think third is too low. Third is probably the number that makes you know, makes the most sense and is definitely a number that they should be at, right? There's no, nobody – they shouldn't be any lower than that. Um Ohio State probably has an argument to try to get up there a little bit higher. Second, with 93 consensus All-Americans. I mean, they put out a lot of players. Like, it, it's a fun debate to have, but I really believe that Oklahoma probably should have been a bit higher. And honestly, Ohio State may have had an argument to be above, um, be pushed up to third right above USC because they lead in three categories at total win percentage, Heisman Trophy winners, as well as uh, weeks in the AP poll. At 982, like they literally are always in the AP poll uh, ranking. And so there's some good arguments in going there. And then, of course, a six with their eight claim titles. It just, like I said, everybody can, it all depends on what you want to claim and go through. But I thought it was an interesting discussion. Hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Oklahoma's too high? Think they're too low? Who would you shift around? Like, what would be your rankings? I would love to hear from you all in the comments because that would be uh, that's a cool experiment, you know, as we prepare for uh, spring games and stuff. You made this far like the content. Please hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love for you to join this family of college football fans. Talking a lot of OU football. We're transitioning to SEC and college football in general. Having a blast doing it. So, uh, YouTube says, uh, check out one of these videos. Highly recommend it because I created it for you. And, uh, yeah. What's more content coming down the line? We'll talk soon. Peace.